Starfield is a game that is coming upon the backs of great RPGs such as Skyrim, Fallout, Dragon Age. We haven't had a really good RPG in years. It's kind of been this huge dry spell in gaming. In fact, it's almost amazing that there hasn't been a major RPG. And it just shows you the development costs and times it takes to create an RPG. It's not easy to create one. And I think this is something to pinpoint. The RPGs of the past, like Dragon Age Origins, did a great job of capturing what we want in an RPG. But there hasn't truly been one since Fallout 4. And I'm here to tell you that the fact they even tried to make Starfield is a good sign. Will we have a new era of great games that come out that are RPGs? It seems that Starfield will be the start of this. It seems that Starfield will create a new era in gaming that we really need. I feel like gaming has been let down. Games just aren't released like they used to be. The release in a buggy mess. And I'm not saying that Starfield won't be a buggy mess when it's released like Fallout and all these other games that were released, but I'm hopeful that even if it is a buggy mess when it's released, that at the very least, they tried. They tried to create a game. They actually took the steps to create a great game. And in the end, that's what you want to do. In the end, you want to create a game. You want to go beyond what has come before. And that's kind of what has been lacking in gaming over these past few years, is nobody's really pushing the envelope. Nothing seems to be going. It's all static. And I'm hoping that Starfield will push that envelope finally to the next level. The levels that we saw 10 years ago when Skyrim came out. Now that it's been released like 50 times, I don't know if it'll be released a hundred more times. It may. They may release another edition before the next Elder Scrolls 6 comes out. But I will tell you this. It's exciting that we're finally going to get a new IP, which is an even bigger risk for a gaming company. Let's put it this way. They could have played it safe and released Elder Scrolls 6 first. No. Bethesda wanted to work on Starfield. A new property. They wanted to create a space game. Now, I think some of the influences are coming from the success of Mass Effect, and they wanted to create a game similar to that, but that was more far-reaching. And 2016 is probably when they started thinking about it. And they were also having No Man's Sky that was released during that time. So it was kind of like this, the perfect time to start looking into that. But then it started going a little bit deeper. It started finding out to be a little bit harder to release stuff. And that's where we really found out that Starfield was going to really have to be pushed out. Cyberpunk had release issues. Games like this that really took risk had big, big issues when they were released. And it took about a year for Cyberpunk to get back to where it needed to be to be a good playable game. And now it's where it needs to be. But the problem with Starfield is it is space, and space is vast, so they're taking a huge risk, but they are building it upon their own engine, and it's the second version of the engine that built Fallout and Skyrim and all these other games, so that's the good news. So this is going to be an engine they've worked with for a very long time, and yes, some people think the engine is ancient, but I think staying with that engine and taking a risk to create a new type of game that they haven't made before is a good choice. So I don't think that this was a bad choice in general to stick with their engine and not like go to Unreal Engine or go to Unity, which has made an Assassin's Creed games and things like that. They stay with their own engine in-house. So they know how it works. And I think that's exciting. Now, Fallout 4 had some stuff, but they're adding even more dialogue in this game, which is a very good thing. They're adding some elements that I'm excited about that will really progress the space story. And then they can expand upon that. Now, the nice thing about space is, let's say they create this huge game. Well, there is opportunity for expansion packs. For better or worse, there's opportunity for huge expansion packs with Starfield. 
all signs point that this will be a masterpiece. At the very least, it's going to be just as good as the Fallout 4 game because it has very similar mechanics to Fallout 4. Think about going to a place in Fallout 4 and then you'll go somewhere. Well, the same thing of landing on a planet. It's like going somewhere and landing because you're most likely not going to explore an entire planet in Starfield, but you will get to explore this, this massive amount of area. Now, they've said that they have people who are actually creating cool things on the planets. We'll have to see if this is possible. They say it's not just going to be just auto-generated. A lot of the planets will be auto-generated, but they are trying to go in there and make each planet special, despite the amount of planets that Starfield will have. They have graphic design artists going in there and kind of making sure those planets are nice and very artistic. So I'm excited about that because I did hear that. So that's exciting. Good job, Bethesda, for not just using auto-generated planets and then plopping buildings on them. So I'm happy they at least are looking into that. And then also, this game is ramped up right now to be one of the greatest games ever. It could be the next Skyrim. It could be the next Mass Effect. It could be the next big space game. And the fact that they tried, that they tried to make this game, speaks words to Bethesda and what they are as a company. A lot of people have kind of not been able to get their RPGs out. It's been just as a stagnant situation when it comes to the release of these RPGs. Dragon Age seems to be hidden. Maybe they release it this year. Not likely. And then we have Elder Scrolls. They've kind of thrown that in the back door which they could have gone that direction. That would have been a safe direction for going for Starfield. They could have gone with Elder Scrolls 6, which would have been a hit no matter what. They did, because they already have that engine built. They have Skyrim. They basically need to make Skyrim with better graphics, and they'll probably be fine with Elder Scrolls 6, but because they have to make spaceships and do things they haven't necessarily done before, plus with the failure of Redfall, there could be even more pressure. Now, we know those studios aren't necessarily connected, but with that being said, nobody's playing Redfall, and that's a Bethesda umbrella company. So they're related in that way, not the same people working on it, but still, there is a risk there that they could be feeling a little bit of pressure from this. But still, they've tried new things. They tried Redfall, a new intellectual, they tried new game ideas, did things within Bethesda. But I'm happy that to say that this is their bread and butter. So throw that out the door. Because that doesn't really matter. And most people would say Redfall has no connection to this, which I agree. But the thing is, Starfield is something that is a game that is not easy for them to put together. But I think will pay dividends in the long run. Because they're going to learn a lot from Starfield to make even Elder Scrolls VI even better when they start working on that. I think they have a basically a very small team working on Elder Scrolls VI right now. So they haven't really devoted a lot to that. So there's a lot of opportunity here. Even if the game comes out bad, where they're going to learn from that and make Elder Scrolls 6 even better, because it's just going to be one jump to the next. And I don't think it's going to be bad. It could be a buggy release, which we've seen in the past from Bethesda games, but not necessarily. That's not just like a given that this is going to be a buggy game. They may actually release this perfect, and the internet may just celebrate that. And they get a perfect release without many bugs. They may have just accomplished the greatest accomplishment in Bethesda history. If you know the history there of games within Bethesda and how they've come out very buggy. But the excitement is there. A lot of people are pumped for this game. And I'm really thinking that the risk they took was the right decision. And that's what it is. Now, we saw a lot of other studios try to do this in the past. And I think overall that this is the direction that they need to go. They need to try something big, major, go into space and explore space. And who doesn't want to do that? There hasn't been a space game like this since Mass Effect. And No Man's Sky, you could argue, is kind of like it, but it's not the same kind of discussion. You can't talk to people in the same way that you can a Bethesda RPG. And that's really where the excitement comes from because all those discussions we're going to have in the stars and all the things that we're going to see in this game is incredibly exciting. And we'll be like, soon, soon this will happen. And we're going to be so like entranced in this game. I got a feeling, even though... And we'll finally be able to leave Skyrim in our past and throw it behind us and not have to deal with that game anymore. And we can finally have a new thing that's going to be released like 10 times before we even see Elder Scrolls 6. But the good news is, Starfield's looking good. And I 
I'm excited, and so should you be excited for this game because it's going to be big.